topic is on the word vaccine. What is a vaccine? And how did vaccines start? There are many people who, when COVID-19 vaccines came out, asked why the countries that got vaccines first still had people dying of COVID-19. Most assumed, wrongly, that a vaccine is a cure. It's a medication. Well, it's not. It's just a preventive measure. More like a fire gut for your field. Putting a fire gut on a burning field is most times a little too late. You have to put a fire guard before your field burns. Vaccination is a way of stimulating an immune response in your body. A vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease. It gives one's body an immune memory. An immune memory is more like our brain memory. It helps the body remember meeting a similar disease before. A vaccine is more like a training or a practice. With practice, when the real disease comes, your body will not be caught unawares. It will act quick, fast, and in a hurry. People train before they go for a soccer match. People train before they go for a tennis tournament. People train before they go for their basketball game. This is the same with a vaccine. It makes you see the weaknesses and how you can perfect them when the real game starts, the real disease comes. A vaccine's purpose is to show your immune system what the virus looks like before you are infected so that your immune system do tutorials about it on its own and prepares your body fighters for the real fight through fighting this dummy. This fight is banged on the immune memory. It trains your immune system to know what a germ, that is a thing like a bacteria, a virus, any pathogen, what it looks like, so that it recognizes it when it eventually comes and fights it and thereby keeping you safe. The problem is when your body meets a new virus first time, your immune system responds very slowly as it doesn't know what it is. This makes the virus make gazillions of copies of itself before your immune system realizes what has hit it. This makes you get very sick. But a vaccine trains your immune system what to look for so that when the real virus comes up, your body responds super fast. It will assume it made the virus before. The virus will thus not have a chance to hijack your cells. You also have several trained cells ready to assist promptly in case of an attack. Without a vaccine, these cells may be relaxed and take forever to awaken for the battle. This would be to the advantage of the virus which will grow from one cell to millions which might take even a week before your cells realize what has hit them. And this may lead them to take forever to play catch up. But if you had taken a vaccine, it would be easy for your immune system to summon itself quick, fast, and in a hurry because they will know that the intruder is back again and has to be attacked. 
Extra, extra, the stranger, the stranger sent everybody, the stranger sent everybody, please confirm if you know the stranger, please confirm if you know the stranger, the stranger sent everybody, all you need be alert, all you need be alert, all you need be alert. He's an enemy, he's an enemy, he's an enemy, he's the virus, the virus that we found last time. If I was that we found last time, let's attack, let's all attack, let's go and attack. He's an enemy, he's an enemy, he's the virus. If I was that we fought last time, if I was that we fought last time, let's attack, let's attack, let's surround you, let's attack. Attack formation, attack formation. It's not a magic shield. How resistant you are to infection depends on your body's response. Some will still have the virus even if vaccinated. Some will still fall sick. The shield does not always protect you, but it's better than nothing. The spear might not enter because you have a shield. A seat belt cannot always protect you, but sometimes you don't suffer much in a road accident because you have a seat belt. Half a loaf is better than nothing. This is how a vaccine comes in. This is why there is a certain percentage that is helped by the vaccine, which is translated to the efficacy of the vaccine. And you can still be a career when vaccinated. The terms vaccine and vaccination are derived from variola vaccine, which means smallpox of the cow. The term was devised by Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner is well known for developing the first vaccine. We are to make a time travel and talk to Dr. Edward Jenner, who had this to say. Hi there. I've been brought back from the dead to give a little chat to you. Well, I'm the one who discovered the vaccine, the first vaccine ever for smallpox. Being a medical doctor, I had observed that my milkmaids never suffered from smallpox. This made me wonder so I realized it might have something to do with cowpox. So I had to do with this. I had to take blood, pus or anything from these maids who had suffered from cowpox and gave it to a little kid, one of my employee's kids, so that he would be protected from smallpox. And it worked. That's how I began to make vaccines for smallpox. In case you might have missed the interview with the legendary, this is what he had to say. He looked at a disease that was similar to smallpox in cows, and he used this disease, cowpox, to make a vaccine for smallpox. He had employees who went to milk cows almost every day. These never suffered from smallpox. He realized that smallpox could be cured by people who had dealt with cows that had cowpox. So he would take cowpox and put it on people so that they would be prevented from smallpox. Mm -hmm.